It's almost time for action here in Oklahoma City. And as the Thunder arrived earlier on, they appeared to be in no mood to show any mercy tonight. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. A view of I-40 in Chesapeake Energy Arena, taken from the Skydance Bridge in Oklahoma City. That's our setting tonight. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Beer, And from the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, the Oklahoma City Thunder has moved up the rankings defensively year after year. Coach Willie Donovan said, I've said it all along. We've got to be a team that hangs our hat on defense. And with their size and athleticism, there's no reason they can't be the best defense in the league. Kevin? And they bring that physicality. Thank you, David. And the guys up front may determine, Brent, the outcome tonight. What elements make for a fantastic front court? Well, nowadays, it's about skilled front court players, guys who have the ability to not only shoot it, but also dribble handoff, make decisions with the basketball to help open up and spread up your offense for your guards and your quicker players to slash and find those gaps. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. It's Randall and Robinson go. at the four and the five. Barrett and Knox are the wingmen. And it's Smith in at the point guard position. And for Oklahoma City, Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Chris Paul is out there with Gilgis Alexander. And it's Robertson in at the three spot. Out of hand on it. Robinson takes it off the glass. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis. And that was some serious effort there. Paul passes to Robertson. He lobs it up. And the dunk by Robertson. Well, the reach of Robertson, a big help on that alley -oop. Smith outside. Randall against Gallinari. Baseline J on the way. Here's Robinson. And Adams sends it back. Well, he can be intimidating. Stephen Adams, such a big frame down there and great timing on that block. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Now here's Paul. Over Smith. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Knicks have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. And Barrett slams it in. Uh, that's an easy shot provided by Dennis Smith Jr. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And it goes out, out of bounds. bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Here's Barrett. Trying to get open is Robinson. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got his second basket. With defenses usually playing him to drive, Barrett's developed a nice little floater for when he can't get to the rim. Now, here is going up. Kept alive. Robinson with the block. And he's able to get it back. And he gets it back. Here's Adams, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, he's such a big guy, Adams, but he does move quite well, and that helps his ability to get to the free throw line. Well, that's a guy out there in Steven Adams that you just have to pay attention to. Every night he's going to bang around the opposing big guys and be a threat around the rim to score and pick up offensive rebounds. First one falls for him. And with Adams on the offensive glass, he is impossible to move. Well, that's a big reason why uh, a couple years ago, Kevin, he grabbed more offensive rebounds than defensive rebounds. So you know he's going to live in the paint. And so Adams nails both of them. Well, Adams has his struggles at the free throw line, but he's making strides in that area and still has work to do. To the inside, Randall. Oh, went in there 
and tried to power it down. But Drew Konjak, he'll head to the line. And that's how you want to use your fouls, not allowing him to get to the rim. Big man who was forgotten about during free agency. Randall could be an impact player for the Knicks. Knicks missed out on the marquee names they were after, but Randall should give them great production for quite some time. Not a huge name, but a young talent that can help this team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Randall. Well, an expanding offensive game for Julius Randall as the first few years he was driving in with his head down and not able to finish around taller players on the interior part of defenses. But last year, tremendous finisher, added some three point shooting and was much better from the mid range. He becomes a bit of a matchup nightmare if he's got all three of those things working. And Brent, the blend of strength, agility, and speed makes Randall a handful when he's going downhill. He's dangerous around the rim, Kevin, and if he's got a live dribble where he's caught the ball around the elbow or the top of the key and could put the ball down on the deck and get up to speed, he becomes tough to guard. Be really interesting if the Knicks can explore him in some transition opportunities, getting out on the break where he might be able to rebound and push it out, a la a Draymond Green type of play. Well, with his touch from mid-range, Kevin, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. And there's the pass to Knox. Back to Randall. And stolen by Robertson. And now a fast break for the Thunder. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Julius Randle picks one up. Robertson being aggressive that time, so staying away from the catch-and-shoot game and taking it at the defense. Tough last year for Robertson with the knee injury and missing a lot of the season as he's a defensive staple for this team. throw drops for Robertson and with Robertson his absence last year was definitely felt yeah it hurt the the starting lineup and some of the balance that they had established for the last three or four seasons with Robertson in the lineup he raises the level of that defensive intensity on a nightly basis and New York making a change here Gibson's checked in both shots good from the strike. And they power forward in college. Robertson's been working on increasing his shooting range ever since he entered the league. Randall surveying the D. He kicks to Smith. Pass to Knox. Five on the clock. Shot from 16. He can't hit that time. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Gilgis Alexander, good. Uh, unselfish play of Chris Paul there. Has a knack for knowing when to get his guys when they're wide open. For New York, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Here's Smith. Colinari with the rebound. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Gallinari. Fires the three. They get it again. Adams just continuing to grind it out. Outstanding staying after that possession. And then he grabs a second chance deuce. Now here is Smith. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Passes it to Knox. That's in. And he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And for Coach Billy Donovan of the Thunder, a lot on the line. In his last year of a five-year contract with the team, the end result of this team will determine his future 
with the franchise. Well, this team has never missed the playoffs under his watch. And the interesting thing with the massive trades that happened in the offseason, how much Billy Donovan gets the opportunity now to teach and coach this group of players. Tons and tons of playing time to be had in New York for Coach Fisdale. Second round players, second chance players. A lot of these guys are going to get their shot. Of course, R.J. Barrett, the guy they're going to lean on most to see what he's capable of doing and how quickly he can learn. The Knicks have a ton of developing to do this year. Checks in for Adams. Muscala comes in for Andre Robertson. Terrence Ferguson's checked in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Chris Paul. And a new group in for the Knicks. Portis, he's checked in for Julius Randle. Morris comes in for Kevin Knox. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Barrett. And it's Trier in for Dennis Smith. Now, here is Muscala. That's a two from Ferguson. It's rebounded by Portis. And Morris has got the ball here for the Knicks. Banked in off the glass. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now, here is Muscala. Now the pass to Noel. Kicks to Schroeder. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great D that time from Portis. Morris outside. Here's Trier. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Right side, Portis. Here's Morris. There's a stellar effort from Gallinari there, really contesting. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Kethick said he learned a lot from his mother. She gets up at 3, 4 in the morning and gets off at 1, 2 in the evening. You know, she works hard for her four boys. You know, she breaks herself off daily. You know, I always try to pride myself in hard work also because how hard she worked for me. And she was a basketball player in her own right. Greg, a scholarship at Jackson State University. Yeah, and gave up basketball when she had Bobby. But she encouraged him to pursue his dream. And she said now she's living her dream through him. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. A perimeter tandem, Ferguson and Gallinari. Noel is out there with Mike Muscala, and it's Schroeder in at the one spot. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going here on the second. And he knocks down the first one. And every season, the Thunder continue to be one of the more dominating teams on the glass. You just wonder how much Steven Adams has been the catalyst for that kind of mentality. We know that offensively, he's always in there to grab rebounds. But it's part of what they know is important in any possession is collecting the ball. Onari hits them both. Brent, so many state-of-the-art arenas being built. Which feature do you think is most important? Oh, the hot dog machine. What are uh, we doing, popcorn, right? right? And right the next popcorn. Hot what dog else, and Kevin? The popcorn. Yeah, yeah you right you nachos. I love nachos. Okay. You love nachos. What else? I mean, what else could we go with there? Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, that's right? a big because, one. Because when you're done with all that other stuff, you've got to somehow kind yep. of coat your stomach. Yep. You Was this basketball bad. related, or do we go somewhere else? All with a it? part of the whole conversation. I think we covered it. <laughs> <laughs> Schroeder 
surveying the floor. And no good that time. Good work defensively by Morris. Now here's Bullock. He's covered by Muscala. Here's Trier. And the rejection by Noel. Noel in there to intimidate and does so there. Thunder trailing by four. Schroeder, left side. Alinari outside. Pass to Ferguson. Here's Muscala. Pocket six. Good work defensively by Morris. New York leading by four. Trier passes to Portis. Back to Trier. Dishes it to Morris. A shot off that time. Oklahoma City shooting only 21% from the field so far. Ferguson, the pass to Schroeder. And here is Noel. He kicks it to Gallinari. Shoots over Bullock. Here's Schroeder. Good on the three-point shot. Schroeder's got himself on the board with three there. A shooter likes to drive first, now establishing the shoot-first confidence. Love watching him rise up immediately after the catch. There's Trier with the three. Hits the three-point bomb. And the Knicks lead by four. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, we all know that circumstances and time changes everything. In Dallas, Dennis Smith Jr. thought he was going to be the cornerstone. But with the arrival of Luka Doncic, everything changed. The promising point guard was traded to the Knicks. And Smith said it was important. It's a big opportunity, and I've just got to make the most of it. But Kevin, we know one thing in New York. The ball is back in Smith's hands. And D.A., that's when he is at his best. Thank you. Now, here is Gallinari. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. It's been up and down the last few years for Nerlens Noel, but there are still some impactful numbers for the minutes that he's on the floor as a rim protector. Shea Gilgis Alexander checked in for Gallinari, and a switcher also for New York. Robinson's checked in for Portis. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Here's Trier. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And for Noel, his numbers will never match the visual impact he has on the floor, wouldn't you say? Oh, he's definitely uh, a player about the little things out there, just being a rim protector, making sure that guys think about him when they're attacking the rim. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And for the Thunder, one of the assistant coaches leaving this past summer. Greg, how much of a concern is that for head coach Billy Donovan? Possibly a sign that Donovan could be on the hot seat in OKC. I mean, three consecutive first-round exits. Donovan on the final year of his deal. The clock is definitely ticking. And so he hits both. Well, the Knicks had a lot of turnover trading for expiring contracts. They did what they could to accommodate the wishes of a lot of vets. Yeah, the problem right now for the Knicks is they're not inviting to a lot of free agents, and that's really where they're trying to make their play. So fascinating over the course of the past decade that New York has not been able to attract the top-tier talent. So building through the draft, Coach Fisdale hopeful that they'll land a star one way or another. Here's Adams on the money with the shot from the left block. 
Adams has got six. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Smith finds Robinson. Handle left side. Robinson down low. Adams defending. Here's Trier. He's got five. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. And it goes down two points. Really good, ferocious defense from Gilgis Alexander to knock it loose. There's 126 left in the second quarter. Pass to Barrett. Back to Smith. Outside Robinson. On deep. Rebound by Muscala. Oklahoma City's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Paul to the right side. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Defense is right there. Muscala hits the button. Muscala's got the game tied up here for the Thunder. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. Now Smith. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. What's up? Exploiting the opposing defense in the paint here. That They've set up shop down in there this second quarter. And boy, are they cashing in. The Knicks shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Knicks. Kevin Knox comes in for Alonzo Trier. One shot. That one misses for Randall. Randall really improved in his shooting range from 10 to 16 feet last year, and that just makes him so much more a complete offensive threat in any system he plays in. Now here's Paul. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Dennis Smith. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Oklahoma City, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Only 71% from the line last season. And rest assured, they're hoping to bring those numbers up this year. The first one falls. Uh, just such leadership that Chris Paul brings every night to the floor. It commands your respect and the opponent's respect, and it's making everyone around him better right now. And so Paul nails both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And here's Smith, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Out to the wing. Three-pointer. And that one is off. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Oklahoma City. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. They only had a couple rough stretches, and as the first period came to a close, they had a four-point deficit. If you look at the second quarter scoring, they had a small edge. They really hung tough as we got close to halftime. Shaq, your thoughts on the Thunder? 
The thing I like is their aggressive approach and getting to the line. You know, when things seem to stagnate on offense, it's sometimes a matter of forcing your wheels. This team can generate a lot of points and also dictate the face of the game if they play with that aggressive mission. Kenny, your take on New York. Well, their reserves showed up tonight, not just on hustle plays, but in points. And that's what you got to do coming off the bench to maximize your minutes. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Steven Adams with a strong contribution so far in this one. And those extra chances mean so much. And he has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down those offensive boards. And the team appreciating all of that dirty work going on. His activity has been phenomenal. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Tipping off the second half, here's David Fisdale's five. Knox and Randall, they're the forwards. Barrett is out there with Dennis Smith, and it's Robinson in at the five spot. And the pull-up J can be devastating if Smith Jr. makes the right decisions. That time he did. I think Mitchell Robinson is one of those guys. We saw it last year. He might get four or five blocks a game. So many players tempted to shoot outside shots because Mitchell would play off of them, and then quickly he would get to them and deflect the shot. So incredible quick twitch fibers and quick to the ball to make an impact defensively. Here's Randall following the basket by Chris Paul. The shot misses. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, before he became a head coach in Memphis and New York, David Fisdale spent eight seasons as an assistant under Eric Spolstra in Miami. Now, Spo said he's a brilliant basketball mind that has exceptional gold Best standard green. level communication skills. One of the most talented coaches I've been around. So, Kevin, Fisdale is highly respected. David, he sure is. Great reputation. Now getting his shot. Thank you so much. And with Robinson, if he played a full 40 minutes every game, Brent, his block numbers would be outstanding. Look at you, Kevin, digging into the per 36 minutes statistics. I like it. He's a great rim protector. He has great activity down there. And if he can stay with the game plan, I think Coach Fisdale is going to find ways to give him more minutes in this season. Here's Gilgis Alexander following the score by Dennis Smith. And Robinson comes to help. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got five now. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Smith against Paul. Smith kicks to Robinson. Wants to get it to Randall and does. Shot clock at five. Yes! And the foul. Steven Adams picks one up. They're doing work in the second half. Three or four to start. And you look at the way Steven Adams has developed his offense the last few years. It's been a huge boost for this team. He has always been a great defender. But now he is an important cog on this team in terms of scoring. And with Adams in his offense, you forget how young he is. And big men, sometimes they just take a little longer to find their path in the NBA. And Adams has certainly found his. I remember him being in mostly to screen and rebound when he was a rookie. But look how far his game has come. Now last season, a bit of a renaissance for Gallinari. And the way Gallinari stepped up last season, Kevin, was a big reason the Clippers were as strong as they were. Now on the other side of 30, He's been playing some of his best basketball here of late. Take 
break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Gallinari. Each year, so many coaching changes. Brent, do you feel they generally get too much blame when things go wrong? I don't know if blame is the word, Kevin. That's just the easy out for a lot of organizations that want to make some changes. The, the main thing that's frustrating, I think, for the coaching fraternity is patience. You have to be realistic about the potential of your team and how much time it takes to grow what it is that coaches culture is all about that's where teams sometimes lose out and give up on somebody a little bit early but these guys go into it eyes wide open well there's no question about it and really good coaches in the NBA know that it might not last all that long so they're going to be who they are that's who you want to hire hire a coach who knows exactly who he is both coming in the door and walking away yeah they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half guys their offense really moving well ball snapping and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm now here's Noel he's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet offensive rebound Adam right through the D for the layup and the Thunder lead by three something sapped them of their energy defensively since halftime in the first half out there scrambling running hustling since then not so much that's, that's tough because that one's preventable the defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover and New York making a change here Gibson's checked in here's Ferguson Dishes it to Noel. Schroeder outside. Shot clock at six. Here's the lob to the hoop. And Noel throws it down. So shifty in these pick and roll sets. Schroeder takes what the defense gives him in that situation. On the wing, Ellington. It's guarded by Schroeder. Shot by Ellington, no good. The Thunder leading by five. Ferguson for three. The rebound by Gibson. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That is his first foul of the game. Mike Muscala is checked in for Adams. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Alonzo Trier is checked in for Wayne Ellington. Oklahoma City's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Alinari passes to Schroeder. And easy two points on the layup. Schroeder's got five. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Well, no secret that the Knicks were planning for a massive free agency and a free agent signing this past summer. They cleared a lot of cap space and were hopeful that their draft choice would be that number one slot. It did not come to fruition. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And playing with the lead, you can see they're making a much more concerted effort to work the ball inside here in the second half. For Oklahoma City, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. One shot. That's good from Muscala. And a lot of people, Brent, feel that without a doubt, the Knicks are still a destination for free agents. Well, to vacation, it seems like, Kevin, because not a lot of the free agents are signing to play basketball in New York City. You know, there's a lot of faith in that idea that it's the number one market and the best place to live and you can make a lot of money off the court. But over the past 10 years, have not seen much action out of New York City. Now, here's Noel. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. And it's Schroeder missing. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Here's Bullock. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Back to Morris. 
Freer from long range. And the Knicks miss again. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Ferguson, the pass to Noel. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Noel's got the lead up to 12 now for the Thunder. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Freer, that's good. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Schroeder up top, fires from 14. Good on the shot. Schroeder's got seven points. He's such a strong offensive player. Schroeder is capable of knocking down some mid-range shots if you give him some room. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Thunder up by 12. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. As we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. They've got Nerlens Noel. Muscala is out there with Andre Robertson. And it's Chris Paul. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the two spot. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. That's a two from Paul. Nicks with the rebound. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Now, Gilgis Alexander following the three-point attempt by Taj Gibson. Count it. Such a big part of Gilgis Alexander's growth. When he hits hard shots like that, it makes him feel like he can score just about anywhere. Now, here is Smith. Over to the wing. Outside Gibson, New York moving it around. Randall with the bucket. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Smith against Paul. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got six rebounds here tonight. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Now here's Gibson. Outside Robinson. Fires from deep. The Thunder pull it in. Noel's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Robertson with it. Randall on him. Robertson finds Muscala. To the paint. Here's Paul. And no good. Excellent D that time from Robinson. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Smith, no luck. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Here's Paul. Smith with the defensive effort. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to nine in the bucket from Robinson. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just time work out, out. and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game.
Kansas City making a change here. Adams checked in, and a switcher also for New York. Knox has checked in. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Okay, David, thanks. Now, Robertson, following the three-point attempt by Dennis Smith. Robertson, the pass to Adams. Here's Paul. Adams trying to free himself up. And Chris Paul, the bucket on the assist by Adams. And for an undersized player, Chris Paul's a pretty good finisher around the rim. Certainly knows all the angles. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. No good that time. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That free throw, no good. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Good on the second free throw. Really in 2019, an up and down year and an almost MVP caliber performance from one Paul George. And there were times when they stood out in the Western Conference as possibly the best team and ended up settling for a sixth seed and an exit in the first round. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Paul looking over the floor. Over Smith. The shot's good from Paul. And the Thunder with another early exit in the postseason, Brent, as you said. I think a little bit shocking in the offseason that Russell Westbrook would be the guy to ultimately be traded. You thought that every night they had a chance to compete with Russell averaging triple doubles over the past three seasons, but unable to deal with some of the salary cap restrictions that they have. So the rebuild is on. is a three. The Knicks pull it in. One forty-three left in the fourth quarter. Now here is Smith. Back to Randall. Takes the three. And it's Smith missing. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Ball finds Gilgis Alexander. Let's it go from 11. He can't get it to go. So New York will take it the other way. Adam, shot is good. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up. Chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Adams. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open look, the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. Here's Nader. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Schroeder drills the three-pointer. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Here's Dotson. Outside Portis. 
Aiden outside. Down to five on the shot clock. But they recover it. Trying to get open is Gibson. And that one is good. Well, you got to like his choice right there to go hard to the rack. Took it right at the teeth of the defense. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Here's Dotson. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Diallo with it. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. First big win tonight. What do you think was the biggest factor? I mean, I don't know. You know, it was just our defense. You know, obviously our offense fared off of it. Guys made open shots, but I think we really locked down defensively, and that's what we're trying to make sure is that we're a defensive team every night. Well, you were a defensive team tonight, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long.